Hey guys, it's Aaron, the home for mobile reviews, A.ca. Today I'm gonna to do a review of the Pelican Marine. Now this is a full waterproof drop rated case um, that feels incredibly solid. Um, but after reviewing dozens of waterproof cases, there isn't anything that really stands out with this case, but that's not a bad thing. For our Pelican Marine review, we've given this case a score of 3.8 A's out of five. It is actually the highest rated waterproof case that has a screen protector and is drop rated to 6.6 .6 feet or two meters. The only cases with higher scores is the LifeProof Nude, which doesn't have a built-in screen protector, and the Ghost Tech Atomic, which is waterproof only to one meter. If you want to know how the Pelican Marine compares against the LifeProof Free Nude, check out that post on my website. If you need full details, well, check out the full review on my site as well. Links are in the eye or the description section below. Real usage, real reviews, mobilereviewsa.ca. At mobilereviewsa.ca, we base everything we do on actual usage, so when we get a drop-rated case and we see a giant rock at the campsite, well, <laughs> the most normal thing we're going to do is drop the iPhone case with an iPhone in it on the rock, right? In terms of design, the Marine actually feels very familiar as you have two pieces that snap together and an O-ring in one of those pieces. Taking the case apart is very familiar as well as you find the corner that has the cutout and pull or use a coin. The Marine is a little thicker than a life-proof free in the dog and bone wetsuit impact. The front of the case has a nice rubbery texture, but the back is completely slick, which means you can pass your iPhone to your friend by sliding it across a relatively smooth surface. The build quality of this case is quite nice, which is something I expect from any Pelican product, and the product does have a lifetime warranty on it. The Marine doesn't feel flimsy like the Life Proof Free, and after a date with the Rock, well, the case still looks pretty good. When it comes to protection, the Marine is going to provide great protection for somebody who needs a bit of water protection and drop protection. If you're out in the elements a lot, consider getting this case. If you're looking for something to go on vacation, well, get a vacation case like the Hit Case Pro or Pro Shot. For a normal office worker or a normal, you know, home person, I think this kind of protection is over. Overkill. The case is waterproof to 6.6 .6 feet, and we did do the initial water test and then something else. We tested the 6 Plus and regular 6 versions without any issues. Pelican includes a threaded waterproof headphone jack extension if you need it. When it comes to accessing your iPhone, the Marine is actually very average, with one exception. Taking calls on the Marine is actually quite bearable, which is something we can't say for most waterproof cases. We didn't notice too many instances where the call seemed muted, uh, though this seemed odd to me because the entire earpiece speaker area is covered up and it doesn't have like a cutout for a, that contains one of those special grain meshes. Now you would expect the sound coming from the bottom speaker to be awesome as well, but it's not, it's muted, which is odd again. The buttons on the case are quite stiff and smaller than other cases, and the threaded plug that covers the headphone jack is just so damn painful to use. It does get better over time, but it's still so damn painful to use. Uh, the lightning cable port is large enough for big cables like the Amazon Basics, but the headphone jack only fits heads that are the same size as the stock Apple EarPods. Camera cutouts are large enough that flash photography isn't impacted. So with all things considered, this is the best non-vacation waterproof case that we've come across for the six, which to me is crazy because the seven comes out in about a month. Um, but hey, better late than never. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Um, if you're going to, if you're planning on getting one of these cases, consider going through my site because this was a $90 case. The iPhone 6s Plus version was a $100 case. I had to buy those outright, which was a kick in my wallet. Uh, um, find me on Google Plus, Twitter as well as Facebook. Uh, this is Monty. He's sitting on a table being part of this video, being very, very still and staring at me. Thanks for watching.